A guilty verdict today in the Trump Organization tax fraud trial. Former president's real estate company convicted on all counts. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with the details. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, this case was against the Trump Organization and Donald Trump was not charged. But it's a major blow and could complicate his business operations going forward. In addition, he could be facing more legal trouble ahead. The jury made fast work of the case. On day two of deliberations, it found the Trump Organization guilty on 17 counts, including conspiracy, tax fraud, and falsifying business records. The scheme included giving off the books perks like luxury cars, rent free apartments, and private school tuition for relatives. This was a case uh, about lying and cheating. Uh, false documents uh, to the end of evading taxes for the benefit of individuals and the corporations. Um, they've now been held accountable. Donald Trump wasn't charged, but prosecutors say he knew all about it and even sanctioned it. The company now faces up to $1.6 million in fines. You can't put a corporation in jail, but you can subject them to fines, and this will have real collateral consequences. The organization's longtime chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, was the lone person charged in the case. He pleaded guilty and testified. Trump's attorneys blamed him and repeatedly said Weisselberg did it for Weisselberg. Did you no. expect a guilty on all counts? I'm not going to comment further. So what's next? The Trump Organization still faces a civil case from the New York State Attorney General Tish James. And the House January 6th committee is zeroing in on Trump and his inner circle, with the chairman telling reporters the panel expects to recommend criminal charges. I think there's general agreement we will do some referral, but, but we're not there yet. Now, the Trump Organization says it plans to appeal today's guilty verdicts. And another probe into Trump is expanding. The new special counsel sent subpoenas to local election officials in Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And they're seeking communications with the former president and his allies. Christine.